Welcome to Jar Planet. Today we're making a small, self-sustaining ecosystem called an ecosphere inside of a sealed jar. We'll be using this jar. I like it because of the glass top that allows extra light to enter. Step one, collect dirt and other small rocks from the water. Sediment collected from the water is already full of the necessary bacteria and life to start off your new ecosphere. I generally add between one to three inches of sediment. Up the stream a little bit, I found a slow moving area. These are ideal conditions for finding small organisms to go into the jar. Step two, fill it up with water. Step three is to add naturally occurring materials. These can be aquatic plants, large rocks, or sticks. I found this large stick, which I broke up into several smaller pieces. This is wild Ludwigia repens. It is a common aquarium plant and is growing all up and down in this brook. Since these stems are freshly cut, they still need to grow roots. I'm removing the bottom leaves so I can plant them in the sediment. The process of making an ecosphere is super simple. Today, we are at a small brook in the woods of Texas. Anywhere that has naturally occurring water is a great place to start an ecosphere. Look, I found Mr. Snail eating lunch. He'll be a great addition to our jar. Once you're happy with everything inside the jar, seal it up and try not to open it again. It's already been two days. My wife and I were out of town when I made this. But we finally made it back home, and now here's what's inside. All the plants are still alive, and I even noticed our friend, Mr. Snail. These are mayfly nymphs. I count five. How many do you see? I took all of these close-ups with a cheap microscope camera off Amazon. It was $40. If you're interested, I'll put a link in the description. It's been seven days and a lot has changed. 
The biggest thing is all the small microorganisms that are swimming around in the background. If you can count them all, hey, I'll give you a surprise. It's day nine and all the plants are growing and looking healthy. Even Mr. Snail is enjoying some breakfast. It's been two full weeks, and I have to say this has been my favorite jar yet. Everything in the jar is doing great and is a perfect example of what an ecosphere should look like. <laughs>